Space Quest II, Chapter 2, Vohal's Revenge, commonly known as Space Quest II, Vohal's Revenge, is a graphic adventure game released on November 14, 1987 by Sierra Online. It was the sequel to Space Quest I, The Sarian Encounter, again using Sierra's AGI game engine. Topic. Plot. A comic is included in the manual to explain to the player what events have occurred since Space Quest I, when Roger became hero of Xenon. The player also learns of the villain, Sludge Vohal who was behind the original Sarian attack of the Arcada, and how he was driven mad. Roger, despite his newfound status as hero, is transferred to the Xenon Orbital Station 4 and promoted to head and only janitor. All is quiet until he is abducted by Sludge Vohal. As Roger is being transported to the Labian labor mines as punishment for thwarting Sludge's original plan, the prison ship crash lands in a nearby jungle upon the planet. He manages to escape his pursuers and the dangers of the Labian jungle and soon reaches Sludge's asteroid base. Once again, it is up to Roger alone to stop Vohal's evil plan, to eradicate sentient life from Xenon by launching millions of cloned insurance salesmen at the planet. Upon reaching Vohal's control room, Roger is captured, miniaturized and kept in a glass jar. Succeeding in escaping his glass prison, he manages to stop Vohal's life support by getting inside the machine, killing his enemy, and restoring himself to full size. In the end, before blowing up Vohal's asteroid and saving the world, Roger is left in cryo-sleep inside a capsule floating in space, setting up the sequel, Space Quest III, The Pirates of Pestulin. Topic. Reception Space Quest II was well received by both critics and consumers. As Computer Gaming World noted, Though the game is similar to the original Space Quest, the addition of more detailed animation, more difficult puzzles, an improved parser hurrah, and greater scope makes a good game even better. Some criticisms leveled at the game included some objects' unclear descriptions, and some puzzles which are hidden from the player. Macworld wrote that, As in the original game, Space Quest II succeeds with the humor of its animation and scripting. Space Quest II was listed number four in Sierra's top five bestsellers. Therefore, it can be assumed Space Quest II sold over 100,000 copies, thus earning the coveted SPA Software Publishers Association gold medal. According to Sierra Online, combined sales of the Space Quest series surpassed 1.2 million units by the end of March 1996. Topic. Remake Infamous Adventures announced in 2007 that they were remaking Space Quest II in the style of past VGA remakes. Although many people were unsure whether or not it was serious after announcing it on April Fool's Day and having a past record of twisted humor, screenshots and a demo were released accompanying the announcement. Infamous Adventures released their remake on New Year's Eve 2011. It featured full voice pack and extended content. Their game is currently available for download at their website.